My name is Nick. I'm 28 with a 7 year old daughter who is currently missing. The last time I talked to her was last night before I put her to bed. Earlier that day I took her to the park, as my wife suggested, so I could spend time with her. I noticed that in the points where I took breaks, she went to the same spot near the woods. When I asked her about this at dinner, she replied, I was talking to Mr. Jiku. I asked her who Mr. Jiku was, because there was nobody sitting near where she was sitting. And she said, He's the nicest of them all. It was strange. She wasn't being herself. She was never this happy, usually due to the bullying that the damn teachers won't do anything about. I'm sorry. I'm getting off topic. Anyway, she wasn't acting normal. The last thing she said about Mr. Jiku was his appearance. She said, He's nice and big with tan skin, and he has big white eyes and he wears a nice hat and coat. The rest of the night was fairly normal. Nothing has happened so far today. But I feel that Mr. Jiku is now pursuing me. In case he has something to do with my daughter missing, I'll do some research and then update in a little bit. Update 1 When I first searched for Mr. Jiku, the top result was lyrics for a song called Mr. Children. I don't think that's a coincidence. If this will help anyone who wants to help me find my daughter, here are some lyrics to the song. Simple as it is, it's genuineness that touches our hearts though we know it. We're indecent. Even though the song's only 8 paragraphs, I'm too lazy to write it. But if you're willing to help me, you can search it up. Update 2 I first posted this to Reddit, and found someone who had the same incident. He told me that his son was never found, and that he still has recurring dreams about what appears to be Mr. Jiku chasing him and murdering his body usually slowly ripping his limbs off one by one. In my opinion, he may have given me a bit too many details, but it seemed he just needed to get it off his chest. One of the more creepy things he said, was it in one of his dreams? He saw children, all hung on a wall with pikes, nails and stakes stabbed through their bodies. Update 3 I saw him last night. Not in a dream, but in real life. I woke up around 12 and went down to the kitchen to get a glass of water. I heard laughing in a deep voice. When I went downstairs, I saw my daughter. She was laying on the floor. Her stomach was ripped open and her intestines spread about. I'll update later. Update 4 This, this is my final update. Somehow that damn monster Mr. Jiku framed me for my daughter's murder. I hear the police sirens now. I also found a note near the sink saying, Mr. Jiku is the nicest of them all. He's nice and kind, never whines. He's the nicest of them all. The police are breaking my door down right now. I need to upload this quick. God help me. For the demon Mr. Jiku is on the hunt. Thanks for sticking around to the end, and if you enjoyed today's story, make sure to leave a like, and if you want more like it, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss a story. If you need more now, why not check out my creepypasta playlist? I'll leave that on this card, and I'll catch you in the next story.